My name is James Wilson and I was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma cancer in the tissue. James contracted cancer at the age of 13. He had treatment for about one year. So on July 7th of 2015, James was officially declared cancer free. The reason why I took our son James to the doctor was he had very excruciating pain in his stomach. I ended up coming down with extreme abdominal pain and we ended up having some tests done. He was at Ivinson Memorial Hospital in Laramie, Laramie Wyoming um, under the knife with the surgeon going in with a scope um, only later to, to find that he had a tumor or a mass outside of his bladder. He immediately suggested us to take James to the Children's Hospital. And when we went, they took a sample and did a biopsy and took a sample. And they had done something called a freeze test. They were going to, to send the tissue samples to the pathologist. The pathologist would then embark on testing to see if they could find any cancer cells. What we were told after the fact was is that there's a great network here in the United States and that multiple pathologists in different places had taken a look at James's slides um, to see, you know, whether or not they could find the cancerous cells, and then I think once they found them, what type of cancer James actually had. They came back with James has a malignant tumor. It's called a Ewing sarcoma. At first I was scared. Um, probably for the first five minutes I was scared. And it ended up shocking me a lot, and I ended up running to my room and crying. When we found out that James had cancer, it was just shocking. We basically didn't have a way to express our feeling. There was the pain, and with that pain, and with all the chemicals that were being drawn in, I ended up losing a lot of muscle. And one of the side effects of having muscle psychologically was is that I wasn't able to play sports. I wasn't able to do all these things that I used to be able to do whenever I didn't have cancer. Your life is fully intact, and you feel like you have this sense of purpose and then that purpose sort of loses its way when you get cancer um, and then you sort of have to re rethink everything. The whole process of having your child sick, um, seeing your child lose his hair, lose his muscles, being able to walk, um, very difficult to, to eat, um, to even smile and then be sitting there about a year later and your child is cancer free. It almost just seemed like a dream. And we had that day. We welcome with the open arms, definitely. We were so excited. What I would tell other children that are going through this cancer battle is that they have to always stay positive, um, that they always have to think long term and so instead of short term, that there is always that chance that you're always going to get through it no matter what. We are not alone. There are so many people working behind the scene and to help us out, and we have to trust them. Without the lab team, I know that James would not be here today. And it's through their sacrifices, it's through their hard work that you can benefit, that you can have certainty, that hopefully you can have a cure. Being able to make these right decisions is what leads to us cancer patients living. So. I would feel like without pathologists, I wouldn't even be here today.